Hi guys, welcome back to Drawergi. Hope you enjoyed looking for wildlife in your garden last week. Uh, down here in Cornwall, one of the things we really like to do is to get out on the water in a boat. Um, but obviously with the lockdown at the moment, most of us can't do that. So, what I thought we'd do this week is to make some little boats to play with at home. Super! Now to make our boats, this is going to be one of the most fiddly things we've done in the garden so far. So we're going to need military precision. The things you're going to need to make it will be about 12 sticks, all around the same length and thickness, and as straight as possible. Then a few very thin, longer sticks, uh, your ball of string, and then finally a little piece of paper. So, let's see if we can manage to make some boats. This is the sort of thing we're going to try and build. Uh, you can see, if I put my hand next to it, the sort of size of it. Um, you don't want to go much bigger than that because realistically the place we're going to be able to play with these is in the bathtub. Um, so if you make it too big, it's not going to fit in there. Um, you can see it's basically a bunch of sticks on the bottom with some cross poles to tie it together. There's a mast. And if you see at the back here, what I've done is one of the middle sticks on the base, I've left with a sticky out bit that sticks down underneath. And that's going to act a bit like a rudder. So... Let's see if we can build one. So what I found helpful to do is to lay out all your sticks to start with in the sort of order that they're going to go in. So you can see I've got all these about the same length across. They're going to make our base. And then I've got the cross poles, which we're going to lash it together with. And you see the one with the sticky out bit I mentioned to make our rudder, that needs to go in the middle. So we've got four either side of that. So to start off with, we're going to take one of our cross poles and we're going to tie off our first piece of string onto that with a clove hitch. Now, if you remember from the Dens video, we learned how to do a clove hitch there. So you go over the top, make a cross, and then you come back underneath the cross with the tail, and then pull it tight. And then we're going to do a variation of the square lashing to fix all the poles to do that. So we're going to put the poles along here one by one. And we're going to go over and under, over and under, just like we did with the square lashing. Now, this is going to be pretty fiddly, so don't rush it. Now, once you've got all your sticks on, you can uh, work your way along the individual loops and pulling it tight if you want. And that will help keep your raft nice and snug. Um, don't worry too much, though, because when we do the other end, that will help pull it all together. So I do appreciate this is quite fiddly. Um, now, depending on how much string you've got left at the end, you can either tie it straight off here with a clove hitch. Or if you've got enough, you can do a frapping turn like we learnt on our normal square lashing to help bind it all together. So you just go right round and pull it tight. And then they're all held there. So we just make it off with another clove hitch at this end. So now we can do our second cross pole, which is gonna be slightly easier because all the sticks now are held together by the first one. Um, so exactly the same clove hitch on one end and then weaving under and over, under and over, all the way across. And if you've got enough string, frapping turns. If not, just finish it with the clove hitch. Okay, let's go. What will we do with the drunken sailor? What will we do with the drunken sailor? What will we do with the drunken sailor early in the morning? Way hey, and up she rises. Way hey, and up she rises. Way hey, and up she rises early in the morning. So now we've got the base of our raft finished off. Um, you can see we've got some sticky out bits here, which are possibly going to slow it down in the water. So what you can do if you end up with that is uh, snap them off if you want. Uh, but make sure you leave a little bit sticking out because we need to tie the mast onto that. So now it's ready to put the mast on. Uh, first thing you need to do is find a stick 
which wedges snugly in the middle of your base. There we go. Don't worry if it's sort of leaning one way or the other. We're going to tie it up in a bit, but it just needs to sort of just hold itself there roughly on its own. Now we can make the sail to go on the mast. So this is where you need those thin sticks um, and your piece of paper. So get the thin sticks and snap them so that they are around about the same width as a piece of paper or a bit longer. And then all we need to do is take one for the top and one for the bottom and just skewer them in. So you can just use the stick to puncture it, sort of in the corners. Once you've done that, all we need to do is tie that onto a mast. So you just do that with a couple of square lashings. So you can see with the mast wedged into the base, it just flops over at the moment. So what we need to do is to put some stays on it. So if you take a piece of string and just put a loop in the end, you can use a bowline for that, uh, like we learned in the rocket video. Put the loop over one end of your cross pole and then go up to the top of the mast, go round it, and then we want to go back down to the other end of the cross pole, and we'll use a round turn two half hitches here that we learnt last week, so pull it tight, round, and then put your two half hitches in. And you see I'd already put the stays on the back, so now the mast is going to stay nice and upright. So we can wiggle it around to get it all square, but we're pretty much ready to go. So now we're all ship shape and ready for adventure on the high seas, and nothing can spoil our fun. Or can it? What's that? Oh! Yar! 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 <laughs> Yar, there'll be a storm coming! Ah, abandon ship, save yourself! Yar, that be all for this week. Until next time, shiver me timbers! Yar! In South Australia, I was born, heave away, haul away. In South Australia, round Cape Horn, we're bound for South Australia. Heave away, your rolling king, heave away, haul away. Heave away, you'll hear me sing, we're bound for South Australia.